Richardson steps in front. Oh! That's a great save by the Wago. Hang on. Wow, that was larcenous. Now, as a, an artist and an art director, uh, you get to work with these fantastic uh, people at Suburbia Studios. And, and, and I guess your friends there at a charity auction bought you a signed uh, replica Roberto Luongo jersey. I mean, what a fantastic gift for a hockey guy. Did Roberto uh, was uh, my favorite Canuck, or at the time anyway. And uh, yeah, what a great gift. The sweater hung in the hockey room right here. Uh, you know, on the, the locker room style hooks mm -hmm. until I replaced it with the game worn one. So the standard was set that <laughs> if it's not game worn, it's not worthy of the room. Plus the room's smaller. It's only room for four jerseys. So, But I still wanted to display this signed replica garment. And the question was where and how. At the time, the hockey room... It's always been a work in progress for about a decade, and almost every bit of wall space was occupied with the exception of that far right corner of the goalie wall. Mm -hmm. My plan was to celebrate Luongo and, and use this jersey as the base, as the canvas. Mm -hmm. So I was cutting this jersey up. My youngest son comes in and he, he <laughs> says something like, you know, Dad, what the hell are you doing? Like, you're ruining this. You, you've ruined the jersey. I kind of explained. I had a vision, the scraps of fabric glued onto the wood cradle canvas. The sign number and name bar were to be the focal point with other elements arranged, allowing space for the painting of Roberto. Uh, it's truly so, mixed media, I guess. Yeah, it, it's totally an experimental piece and... Uh, my wife was uh, like my son, where she just thought I had ruined it. Um, <laughs> so I, I actually, I never artists. told anybody in suburbia that I had done this. I just was like, oh my God, I hope I can pull this out of the fire. But no good art really happens without some sort of pain. So, I, su I suppose so. They, they might have said that, that about Roberto Luongo's career. <laughs> Oh, you're a hater. <laughs> <laughs> Haters gotta hate. But the fact is, you to put that kind of energy in, into creating an art piece, uh, and and at the same time destroying an art piece, quote unquote, that's uh, that's pretty gutsy stuff. Eventually, when an, all was said and done, I showed my friends at Suburbia, and to my relief, they thought it was pretty cool. So, you know, it's a great way to finish the goalie wall. Smith had the game's second goal on his stick, and Luongo miraculously snatched it away. Save of the series right there, folks.